Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to learn about Spreader Operator and its applications. Spreader Operator in JavaScript has lots of interesting applications and we can simplify a lot of code using Spreader Operator. So let's look at it, how to do that. And welcome to Texi Tutorials. In JavaScript, let's say if you want to create a duplicate array, let x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and I want to create a copy of it. Let's say if I do this, let y equal to x. This is not a copy. What it happens is this actually sets a reference to y. So if I change x, y also change. But, but we don't want that. We want to uh, create a copy uh, of x. Uh, one way to do it is I can do using object dot assign which is a new method in JavaScript where I create an empty array and then I can uh, assign all the elements of uh, x into y. So the new array uh, which which is y it's a copy of x and it's a shallow copy. Um, it's a shallow copy because it just uh, copies the element, not the uh, any any prototype it might have. And if you want to learn more about object or assign, I have a tutorial on it. But better way to do it is uh, not. I should not say better. Another way to do it is uh, I can do simply using spit out operator. So I can say y equal to dot 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 x. And let me make it right team so we can see things clearly all right so this is how you make a copy and this is completely different the best way to visualize uh, uh, the spreader operator is a lot of people have a hard time understanding what it is the way i visualize it is uh, if i do this equal to nothing but um one two three and four in this array so if I put a square bracket around it, then I am building an array. Okay, so this is how I look at it. Dot dot x is nothing but sort of like uh, arguments. The same way you can actually merge two array. So that's the second use of uh, spreader operator. So let's say if I have another array, let y equal to let's say five six and seven remember x is represented by like this now i can do y equal to uh, five six and seven so if i want to merge them if i do this this would give me what uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? Now, if I put a square bracket around it, what would I get? I would get this. So I have merged two arrays. So this is a this is how you can visualize it. And uh, don't actually do this. I'm just showing you so that you can understand how it really, how you can imagine what it is. So I have merged two arrays. If I console log it now, let me remove all that stuff and I just do console log and run it. And then I would get the entire array. I can also do this way. I can um, x dot concat and dot 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 y and this would also merge uh, x and y if I run it I would get the merged array another use of uh, spread operator is array to argument so let's say if I have uh, an array well, I should have not one two three and uh, I have a function let's say let 
uh, func equal to a function <clears throat> which has which takes an argument so arg and inside if I console log arg um, I have to obviously pass um, and so inside it would give me an array so what really happens remember I told you that uh, dot 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 x you can visualize as one two three which is like an argument so here it would become like this would become like one two and three so its job is to kind of convert array to argument in old days we before a spare operator we used to do something like this so we would do uh, func dot apply I guess it used to be null and x something like that and this would give me the same but you don't have to do that anymore you can simply use the spread operator and because uh, you can convert arrays to arguments uh, whichever function takes uh, arguments you can pass as an array and use that uh, to do whatever you want so for example um, let's say there is a there's a math function called hypot in the math library there is a function called hypot and what it does it actually whatever argument you pass to it let's say if I pass 3 and 4 so it would do square of each number and add them and then do the square root the answer to this would be 9 plus 16 25 uh, square root of 25 is 5 so if I console log this um, and run this I would get 5 um, now instead of this I can simply do this x equal to let's say 3 4 and x and this should do the same thing now because these are only two number does you don't see the the difference but if I have lots of numbers then what I have to do is I have to pass them as an argument instead I can just simply use this same thing and there is a, a min function in math library which finds a minimum of all the arguments so in this case it would find the minimum of the array so here let's say if I have um, somewhere here one so it would find one as a minimum so if I run this I get one and also you can find max as well and I hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please uh, like subscribe and provide a nice comment and you can uh, support the channel via patreon I'll provide a link here and you can translate the video uh, to your own language uh, the link would be in the description so you can check that out thank you